Bandolero West Covino here for the title matches of today's JBT event. Three divisions going at once. In the middle here, this is the handicap, and this is top seed William Galvez. Who almost gets a strike when his first shot on camera, but he had a double working, so he's up for a good start in this title match. He is considerably ahead to scratch, and that's real good news because he's getting 23 pins in this match as well against his opponent, Porfirio Jimeno the third, and that spare in the fourth will maintain that big lead he already has. Pretty high scores today. William qualified first at plus 276. Jimeno right behind at 256. He took plus 235 to make the ladder today. That was Stephanie Hong. Let's it fly and uh, have a 36 to deal with there in the fifth. To the right, U17 just getting started. Sebastian Huffman, who finished fourth in the main scratch division, he gets a double to tie up his match where he's taken on fellow Las Vegas bowler Hayden Fernandez, who came out of the handicap to make the U17 title match. Hayden just lost the semifinal here in handicap to him now to set up that U17 final. Galvez avoids the chop. That's four marks in a row, including that double. Great start for him. To the left, Michael Marmoleo has been on fire in the scratch division. He shot 254 and 258 so far in the ladder here. Blew the chance at 800 there with that 10 pin in the second. But spares it up and has himself a three pin lead through just two frets. Williams' very first career JBT event. And then it'll been bowling plenty, as you can see, rocking that season 26 t-shirt. But this is not only the first time he's made the top four, this is the first time he made the first cut. So, big, big breakthrough day for him, and he's got that spare for two marks in a row in the fourth and fifth, but he's got some work to do. Trails by 31 plus the 23 handicap. However, so often we've seen games change dramatically in the second half. The powerful Marmaleo does not get that ball to hold up in the third on lane three. Well, now he's got a nine count to do with it. Big turnout today. 96 bowlers started. Thank you so much to the team here at West Covina for having us. Right back here tomorrow for Mother's Day. Little treat for the moms tomorrow. Our veteran moms know all about it. Kimeno and Hayden both going at it. Whoops. Neither one happy with the result. <laughs> oh, neither is Michaels. That was an ugly 10 seconds of bowling. As Hayden comes up high, Furio ditches his spare and Marmaleo chops his. I hope the next 10 seconds goes better. Starting with William here and his six frame spare working. Ah, this, this last 10 seconds have been light years better. That was a perfect shot from Galvez. Hayden doesn't get any better chopping that tough combination. And here is Preston Presley, Michael's opponent, looking for his first career scratch title as well. So he's himself a runaway five and scores been pretty high all day, but you see that pattern might starting to be deteriorating a little bit. Hold on, Route 66, even though it's a challenge level pattern, our bowlers love it, it's kind of becomes an oily wall. Those five to one ratios, these guys just tear up these days, there's no fear at all. No trouble at all. Or crazy at the spare there. Same deal for William. He's just on cruise control right now. That is six marks in a row for a guy entered at 123. And uh-oh. The wheel's kind of falling off on the window right here, unfortunately. 68 bowlers in the handicap division. If this game goes south on him, he's got to remember all the great things he did to get this far. 66 other bowlers wish he could be finishing right here, but don't tell him that right now. Preston, kind of a breakthrough tournament. His career had finished before was fourth. So he'll obviously improve on that no matter what happens. Qualified at plus 84 for his five games. And then a big 234, 256 to leapfrog into the lead and a real close uh, set up from scratch. First through tenth was not separated by many pins at all. Jimeno does cover the spare, give him a little glimmer of hope here. Well, start, well, not starting to, flat out is running out of friends. Jimeno 
Kind of stand right, throw left. Good scenario for him. He just looks a little confused on the pair. Now, had a good game last game, but lost the look a little. Title matches do funny things sometimes. And Bill from Bamaleo, 5 12 for his first two games over here, and now uh, strikes fair open. You always got to make an educated guess whether you threw a bad shot or if the lanes are changing. I mean, you don't have much time to guess wrong. Right now, I'm pretty sure the lanes are changing. I think he thought he threw that well. And it took off on Michael again. Two spares in a row, but spares are not going to cut it right now as this uh, youngster is just knocking them dead right now. Oh, as soon as I say that, of course, first split, second split of the match for him. Oh! And the chop becomes the spare for Michael right off the back of the curtain. He'll take that. This is a makeable split right here, especially the way he's been bowling. Not going to quite get it over on the side, but really no damage done. He leaves by 28, getting 23 more. He is on cruise control right now. Any age, any average. Of course, William all is six and a half years old. No? How old is he? Uh, he's uh, 13. 13? All right. That's close. No! Oh. Well, he's trying his hardest to make this interesting all of a sudden. A big four here in the ninth. Jimeno can get uh, 172 total. That's not going to be enough. William misses all of these. He would need four more pins in the tenth to win, so. I don't know how much he's contemplating the math, but he's in good shape still. Michael finally gets back on the strikes over there. Chavez is going to get the two out of that. Open, open in the eighth and ninth can be disastrous in bowling, but it's not going to be in this case as he built himself up a pretty insurmountable lead there. The high backswing of Huffman. Huffman's bowling at about, oh, about 60% right now. His right thumb is uh, cooked. His right thumb is cooked like a uh, Benjamin Huffman tri-tip. Where's he at over here? The grill master looks like he put his kid's thumb on the grill for about 20 seconds over there, but he's toughing it out. Didn't throw any practice balls. And he's got to bowl a whole other tournament tomorrow. That's bowling. He can just take his thumb out of the ball. That's what everybody else is doing. Much better last two and a half frames for him. I know that's a small consolation for him right now. Through all that, Sebastian has himself a 27-pin lead. So he might injure his way to a win. Not only one strike in this title match, he struck a lot more in the last one, and it's going to end up at one. Well, he could spare a strike. Hayden is struggling over there, but Hayden and his brother Gavin, of course, constant bowlers with us. This is a guy to see Hayden back in the finals. Tough last game for MNO, but hey, for a kid who hadn't even made the first cut before, that is a breakthrough performance, so he'll be happy in about an hour and a half. <laughs> Maybe after a night of sleep now that you can second guess that. But right now, our champ's got a victory lap. He's the winner. So what does he think? He's 13 years old. He's never bowled these things before. He comes out here and, and mows down the field. How high has the bar been set for himself? Bowling is a sport where you don't win all the time, so I don't know. When you're one for one on your career, right now none of that matters. Right now it's a win, go celebrate, we'll deal with all that other stuff in about 10 hours or when we next see him. But yet another game way over average, and that's the JBT champion, William Galvez. Hey, not, hey, champ, you just bowled in the wrong lane. Yeah, it's the tenth frame. Well, that's it. You're not, you're not the champ yet. I take it back. You have not completed your game, sir. 
trying to get in the bonus camera time. I see what he's up to, milking it. All right, now you're the champ. There it is. Nice job all day out of him. There's the smile of the winner. Well done. I love you so much, I'm proud of you, man. Over there, the best Fernandez can do is 175. Sebastian needs to convert this four pin or mark in his tenth frame and takes care of it right then and there. He's going to win U17, which leaves our scratch division as the last quarter of a long day here. As it stands, Preston is clean through five and finally got his first strike of the match there in frame six. That's his scoreboard. Our Mamalejo's got a 2-0 pace working with that open, followed by the later three-bagger. Be a two-pin match, we can strike here in the seventh. Starting to grab early in the middle on both bowlers. They both got to make the move here in these last couple frames. We earlier asked, is it execution or is it the pattern change? I'm pretty sure it's the latter. Well, 89-year-old Sebastian Huffman is trying to finish that match over there. Oh, dear. Unlucky chop for Preston there. There's old man Huffman struggling through the spares there. <laughs> uh, that's a critic that's a strategical error making that spare. Now he's got to throw the ball again. Yes, Gavin Gavin's been too busy watching his fellow Vegan, so just make sure we get our weekly Gavin Fernandez shot. There he is. So that's a bad break for Preston right there. I hate chopping those 610s. That's rude. 211 is now his max. Again, Michael going at a 204 pace. So still anybody's game. All right, he's got to put up a couple X's most likely here. And no more XOX. Oh. Well, actually, XOX would be perfect. So actually, yes. Now he has XOX, and that's what he needed right there, because he needed the X part of that XO. That's an extra 10 bucks, no? No! <laughs> well, Michael's an excellent bowler who's made an awful lot of finals with us, but he's only got one title. If I ask most people how many JVC titles does Marmalero have, I bet most people would guess more than one. There's just one. It is in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's been a while. I think the haircut's oh. <laughs> What did you do? Magic. What did you do? Huh? I did nothing. I, I won't talk about his haircut anymore. The camera comes and attacks me. Do that. Looking for a four-bagger. Deeper. And it still checks up on him. That was a significant move to the left, and it still grabbed too early for his liking. And keeps Preston right on the match as a result. Make your spare, Hayden. Don't, yeah, you didn't make it yet. <laughs> Switches to a low friction ball, no problem at the six pin. I told Aiden to make his spare, let's see if he does. Yay, now you can yay. 190 to 165, the final over there in U17. If Michael stays clean without a double, Preston needs to strike out to take the match away. Mark's never a guarantee when you get to this last few frames of the title match. A zero-time winner versus a one-time winner, so title match pressure is definitely in play. Fatigue in play has been a long, warm day today. Ah, pretty shot in the night. 
Good news for him is he looks comfortable on lane three. The bad news for him is that's the last shot he'll throw on lane three. And we'll have to get zeroed in on four. We'll see how zeroed in he'll have to get. Miss Preston can throw all the pressure back on Michael if he can get to the next three hits. Uh, last time on this Barrett plane, he left the 3-6. It looks like he was pretty happy with how he threw it, so. It is a tough skill to make a big move in the eighth frame of the title match. And I think big jumps are called for right now. That's definitely left her. It still will not check. He's got that slower ball speed and a little bit of side rotation. He might be in a spot where everything is going to check on him. It might be hard for him to get to a spot where it doesn't do that. This match is not over yet. He's still got room for 191. That would force nine pins in the tenth out of Michael. So a big split. Things could still happen. Yeah, this is tough for me, side roll players. I have a lot of side roll myself, so I kind of see reading what's going on with him pretty well. He can't stay there, but I bet he took it. Yeah. Right when he needs it, the ball to face up. You're sort of a, a cliff, but way to the left on the lane. But three in a row which still makes Marmaleo show up. Anything less, Marmaleo doubles his title total. later, but that felt like maximum ball speed out of Preston. It seemed like he was just really tired. I don't know who could blame him. Looks like he was really putting all his effort into that shot. Got the good result. Has to have the next one though. Gotta have it. That's exactly what I was worried about. Yeah. Well, Preston's search for JBT title number one will continue, but it's his career high finish. Lots to be proud of. Well, and just a hair short in that final game. And the big guy gets a victory lap. Now I'll say it, it's the haircut. <laughs> he had a uh, he had a wild thing going on before before there. It's a lot more conservative for the summer here and it's more aerodynamic now, everything. It's all it's all working. Right because he's going to shoot, uh, let me see, 714 with spare strike in the finals. That's a good way to win a title on any level. Congratulations to two-time champ Michael, our handicap winner William. U17 Sebastian and girl scratch. I didn't mention that. Went to Maddie Holman today with a win over Emily Cheeseman. Great stuff here at West Covina. We do it all over again in about three and a half hours. <laughs> His peanut gallery goes nuts. Finally! Yeah, buddy.